Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. It's Steve Buzzer here. How are you doing? 3rd of August. I've just had my um, jabs, or a few of my, I've had my NHS jabs. So I've just come back from the doctors, or sorry, the nurse. The nurse uh, sorted me out with a few bits and bobs. Um, I've left it quite late. I thought I was going sort of more October time, whereas I'm now going end of August. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of running out of time. I still need to get some others done. But, yeah, quite quite scary when you go. Like, not the needles or anything like that, but they pull up a list of uh, every every disease under the sun. And I, I'd imagine if you did it for any country, you probably wouldn't really want to go anymore. But, uh, yeah, it's a strange, uh, strange morning. Doing the uh, arms are a little sore. Hopefully I don't get any any reactions to it because I got a bit coaching this evening so the last thing I want to do is uh, sort of uh, zombie out because of because of them but yeah I've uh, got the old jabs going like I said I've got, got a few more to do um, I've actually left it too late so for the ones I've had today they're just done but I've got um, a few others um, I have to do uh, somewhere else to be basically you get some NHS ones so they're like I'm in the UK they're free which is fantastic but then there's two or three other ones that I'm going to need to get uh, next week which not only am I going to have to pay for that's not the problem then you need two doses and as I've left it too late I'm going to have to get the second dose done when I'm actually over there so yes should have maybe planned it a little bit better well I, it has been brought forward, but yeah, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. But no, yeah, so it's all starting to feel real now. Um, kind of, I, I did a video yesterday, and uh, yeah, last last night I was planning things. I was I was planning on maybe stopping off before I went to Thailand, and it kind of dawned on me last night about how much little time I do I do have. I'm I'm playing in the uh, better ball with a uh, Picard Jumbo Jet Golf and that tournament actually finishes when I was considering going so that I think it's the 19th of Friday I was actually thinking of leaving on that day so that's now not happening I'm not pulling out especially as it's a better ball and doing we did well in the qualifier so it's not not only would I, I wouldn't pull out it would mess James around but doing I do generally want to play as well so so yeah, I've got, the, the plans have kind of changed now, got, and it, that's like two weeks away. Still got quite a lot to do around the house. Obviously, got all my all my crap or slash personal belongings that I need to deal with. So yeah, yeah, the time time is running out. But I I have got some jabs, so at least uh, shouldn't shouldn't be too bad. Found out there's Zika, so Zika. Uh, Obviously, with the Olympics starting starting on Friday, there's massive. And I, I get the impression, that obviously, it's it's a it's a problem, but I don't think it's maybe as big a problem as some people are making out. I know it's in Miami now. It's in it's quite a, quite a tough one, and I think people do get quite scared when there isn't a vaccine for something. But saying that, they're showing me less. There's four or five other things that they're, that have been around for longer, and there's not vaccines for that either. So, so yeah. So uh, obviously, with the media, it's with, with the Olympics. I'm being involved with golf. Zika was obviously given as one of the contributors why a lot or contributor slash excuse why a lot of the players didn't want to go. Um, and I, I kind of I kind of get that. I think it's probably worse where they are. You've got to think as well. Uh, there's a the golf course is effectively on a swamp, so that's where a lot of these mosquitoes, etc., are going to be. And golfers were out on the course for five hours, not so much in like track and field. You're not going to be exposed for any anywhere near as amount of time. However, you can also look at it. There's quite a lot of people in Brazil living there, and they seem to be fine. There's a lot of people over in Thailand seem to be fine. A lot of people in Miami seem to be fine. So yeah, it's just um. I think when you see things on the news it, and when it doesn't really apply to you, it's easy to judge and and uh, have an opinion when it your opinion doesn't really matter because it, like I said, it doesn't affect you. Yeah, it was just 
interesting to be told that Zika is in the area. But again, like I say, I don't, I don't think it's that big an issue. Not for me anyway. But again, it would, if, if you're in different, slightly different set of circumstances, obviously you could argue that it could be a massive problem. But yeah, so let jabs done. Well, the first lot I've got a few to do this time next week, but yeah, I've just got I'm busy. I got I got people to call me and sort my visa out now, so that is what I will be doing for the rest of the day, and uh, yeah, a few other things. Busy, 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 busy. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you soon.